Oh, welcome to the stream. Oh gosh. Oh, welcome to the stream. I saw the funniest thing in the world. It made me laugh so bad at the start. Of the oh man. Oh, it's funny. Oh, it's funny. It was a funny message in the chat that auto mod caught. And you can just imagine it's like a really like angsty eight year old just like just key smash it. Oh, it was so funny. Oh man, it made me laugh. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I love how they get caught by Automata and all that work, all that key smashing, right? All that key smashing just denied. Just denied. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't think it was an eight year old. Oh, uh, you're, you're probably right. You're probably, you're actually probably right. Oh, I'll say this, you know, you actually are a hundred percent correct. Sometimes the, the craziness people are like, I was just kids. It's like, no, no, you would be very surprised. You'd be very surprised. Um, but welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's great to have you. Um, today it's no, it wasn't B dubs, but that's pretty funny. Um, Today we are back. We are back and we are going to be playing Create. It's all fixed. The wonderful, amazing uh, Create uh, mod team fixed some issue. They did some magic, you know, with the code and uh, we're rocking, we're rolling and we're gonna have some fun today. I wanted to uh, get some mechanical pressing, some mixing, and I also wanna go on an adventure. I wanna find some trees. I was looking through the list of all the possible woods and there are some really cool ones. So I am, uh, Quite excited about that. I am quite a bit. I'm quite. A bit. Can't even speak. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, better rap. Thank you so much for the three month free subscription, three months sub, and two streams in a row. What else could I ask for, dude? That is right. That's two streams in a row. I don't think I've streamed two days in a row in a long time. So, yeah, I need to stream today just for fun. You know, sometimes I don't know. Sometimes it's, I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, let's see, what Marcus, thank you so much for the six month resubscription. Very much appreciated in Booker's Trying. Thank you for the five months. Five months, hope your day's going well. It is going quite well. I just finished my Christmas shopping, so I am quite excited about that. Oh, dude, I got my dad the most crazy stuff ever. So he loves woodworking, right? All he has is pine. He's got pine, it's just pine, it's just pine wood. And you know, he has nowhere to go and get anything of quality. So I was doing some look and he would never think that it would be on the internet. <laughs> You'd never think, right? So I was, you know, just looking around and I found some just amazing wood. So I'm so excited for uh, my dad to see it. He's gonna be able to make some really fun stuff with it. And, um, but yeah, I, <laughs> one of the boxes weighs 140 pounds. What am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. See, this is the thing. He wanted like tools, but it's like, it's like you don't have any wood. You, you want tools, but you got no wood. <laughs> you got no wood. So we got him some, uh, I'm, I'm so excited about this, right? I have no idea where to hide this. I got him some, um, you know, some nice, you know, pieces of hardwood, you know, some, some, you know, planks. Um, but I also got him some plywood too, because he had mentioned that he wanted to try to, he's made a lot of small things, but he's been wanting to try to do some furniture. And so I got him some, some uh, like pieces of plywood too, for, you know, backings and, and stuff like that. And uh, that's also a hundred pounds. <laughs> I told my mom, I'm like, I'm, I'm best at about a, about a, about 10 pounds. I'm good at 10 pounds. I can pick up jelly and that is about it. Um, and I definitely don't want to hurt my mom's back. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, in total, I'm pretty sure there's about 300 pounds of wood coming. Ah, oh, I make the best decisions in life. Um, <laughs> I'm just such a good decision maker. I'm just so good. It's wonderful. So I'm not sure what to do with the 300 pounds of wood that's coming. I didn't know you could order wood online, right? I didn't know it. I didn't know. I didn't know. My mom just wanted a purse. I think it's a pound. 
<laughs> oh, anyway, I had fun. I had so much fun looking at all the different like types and stuff. Um, I was trying to decide which my favorite, right? I was looking, like, I was looking at this maple and cherry, and I'm like, I might be a man, I might be a maple type. guy. X five hundred. Oh, you you're not wrong about the wheelchair. I have an idea for that. Christmas that isn't a Christmas tree. Uh, just uh, buy your dinner for a Christmas tree. Um, I have a funny story about about Christmas trees. I want to talk about that later. Um, the wheelchair as a forklift is not off from what I'm actually gonna do. So this is my theory. Okay, I know you came for create, but this is this is this is good stuff. All right, so I have a, an electric wheelchair, right? Did I say maple? Yes, maple. You know, kind of Scandinavian, back to my heritage. Uh, half of my heritage. Um, okay, so, right, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna get my, uh, I'm gonna get my, uh, my power chair, right? Right, okay. I'm gonna have my mom open the boxes and she's gonna hand me the boards. And I think this is okay. Instead of 150 lift, this is, uh, this is what, like five, 10 pounds, right? And I'm gonna set them on the electric wheelchair in my lap. And I'm going to go very slowly down the sloping pathway to the garage. And I'm going to do that like 15 times. And I think this is the appropriate wheelchair forklift. I feel like I should videotape this. Videotape this. What am I going to get the cassette player? Put it on my shoulder? No. We're gonna, I'm going to record this. I'm going to record this. There's going to be these enormous, <laughs> enormous pieces of wood. I'm just going down the ramp like this. It can't go wrong. It cannot go wrong. Get them delivered into the garage. The likelihood of UPS doing that is probably pretty, pretty small. But maybe, I don't know. Maybe they'd be nice. I don't know. I used to know all like the, the post office um, guy, the UPS guy, but here I, I don't know any of them. It's always somebody different. I mean, when I was a kid, we always had the exact same people and you used to know them like, hey, mom. So, yeah, I don't know. It's always somebody different these days. Um, yeah, famous last words. <laughs> hey, okay, okay. Going down the pathway from the house, on one side, it's like a four foot drop. It's not terrible. It's not terrible, but falling on a 350 pound wheelchair. Okay, okay, that might be a bad idea. What if I clipped the tree and then spun off the pathway? That could be a problem. Okay, I didn't think of that. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Okay, we're we're problem solving here, everybody. We're problem. We we are we are problem solving. We are problem solving. Uh, the delivery of the wood. I think if I, I have to show you this wood when it comes attacked. at this point. X five hundred. I know he won't Ask look at my Twitter, so that's safe. Try the app he doesn't follow me. Hire a person to live. Sorry, I was just I was just dying there. I was just dying. It's fine. Everything's okay now. Everything's okay. Okay. Uh, ask your neighbors for help. You know, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. I just rarely ever ask for help. Like even asking the UPS driver to like not put it here instead of there. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm somebody who just never, um, never asked for help. But I mean, a next door neighbors here and here definitely would probably help. I'm sure they would. Hey, well, I just got a Scarline t-shirt. The one I was wearing yesterday. Now I'm wearing the black one today. <laughs> You're going to love it, my friend. You're going to love it. All right. All right. Let's take a sleep. Let's take a sleep. Um, but yeah, I'm super, I'm super excited for all the wood. It's going to be amazing. The MK LXRD bit attacked. X1000. Good evening, Scar. Well, a good evening to you. <laughs> Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Wow. You got a whole wardrobe on you. Anyway, um, thank you so much for the bits. Very much appreciated, my friend. Very much. Um, yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm excited. I'm excited. I wanted to get walnut, but poof. Oh, oh. Walnut's a, walnut's a little bit expensive. <laughs> I don't know if you've been to the wood store recently, but man, what is, what is, what is pricey? What is, uh, what is, what is very pricey? What is very pricey? There's a very particular oak that he likes, um, but I couldn't find the right pieces. It's cut in a very particular way. Maybe some wood woodworkers in the audience would would know. Uh, it's like quarter sheen, quarter something, quarter something. I know he loves that, but it, it was uh, 
There was a lot. <laughs> there was a lot. Quarter, quarter swap. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he, he loves that. There was this guy that let, that renovated a house down from his mom's house, my grandma, and uh, he did his entire floors as that. And my dad was just like looking at him, just like. <laughs> my dad's um, my dad's dad. I never met him, but my grandpa on my dad's side, um, he laid floors. Um, like that was his job. That was his, that was his job. Like he. He, he, like the entire Conacosta area, all the houses built between like 50 and like 65 or 70, all were his floors. <laughs> all were his floors. Um, so if you live in the Bay Area, you're probably standing on my grandpa's floors. Um, but yeah, sadly I didn't meet him. Don't smoke kids, not worth it. You won't meet your grandkids. All right, anyway, good thoughts. <laughs> good thoughts, here we go. So. Plan on getting some wood. So, I yeah. you you shoot yourselves while I get my my tools here. All right, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave Brittany alone. Ah. I don't have proper armor in this series. I don't have proper armor. I'm trying to I'm trying to lure them away. I'm trying to lure them away. This is a good example right here. This is a good example of why the elytra is kind of broken in Minecraft. Because if I had the elytra right now, I'd fly away and come back and they would all be despawned. That is a problem with the elytra. I'm just gonna run this way. I'm just gonna run this way. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. Uh, let's see. Scar, I missed the first few minutes. What's all this talk about wood? I've been Christmas shopping. I'm very excited. I'm super excited. Uh, I got something my dad would never anticipate, and it's a bunch of um, uh, woodworking stuff. So I'm super happy about. Uh, I'm super. I'm super happy about it. I, I I didn't spend eight hours researching where to get. Uh, maple or cherry or oak or all those different kinds of woods. <laughs> I, I, I didn't spend eight hours yesterday and two hours today doing this. No, I would never, would never, I would never, I would never do that. I would never spend an equivalent of about 12 hours researching purses for my mom. I would never, I would never overthink something. Would, would you think I would overthink something? Me? <laughs> Me, an overthinker? Uh, that is that is the curse of that, that is a genuine curse that I have where I will um, I will just go way overboard and um, I will just go way overboard in research to, to a dangerous look dang it they're still here dude I know everything about purses now I know everything about purses there isn't anything that I don't know about a purse now <laughs> I got I went, I went very deep into it Different, different cuts, um, strap, strap drop. I know what that is now. I know what that is, strap drop. I know, I know. I researched, I researched. Probably impressed with me. All right, I really need to get back to my stuff so I can get my food and my drill thing in me, Bob. And then I wanna go and get some woods because apparently I got wood in real life and now I wanna get wood in Minecraft. There's some cool ones. I think we're safe, okay. Where did I put my drill, drill thing, or saw machine, saw, saw uh, I can't speak, saw machine. Wait, wait, that's a hand crank. That's one thing I need. Where's my saw? Knock, knock, saw, where are you? Ah, there you are. Hey, I have two hand cranks now. Huh. Imagine that, one brings some extra food. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Sweet, let's roll. And I marked down the coordinates. Um, So my goal is to, Oh shoot, I don't I actually don't even know what these woods are called. I should have I should have wrote them down. Oh no. Can I just search logs? No, that doesn't work. Shoot. Um I should have wrote down the the woods. Oh man, that's my bad. I hate so much the things that you choose to be. Anyway, let's move. Alright, let's go adventure a little bit. Let's go adventure. 
I'm not gonna die to a pillager. I'm not gonna die to a pillager at all. Not even at all. Not even at all. Anyway. Anyway, guys, how are you all doing? As we adventure to the world to finally find maybe a couple unique woods. Um, and then uh, we'll get back and we'll start working on some contraptions. Because uh, everybody else on the server's got all these cool whiz-bang smashers and zippers and fans and all this nonsense. And I've got nothing. I got a house that moves. And that's it. I got no whiz-bang features. So... I want some of these neat colored woods. There is a, a couple ones that I've always wanted in Minecraft, and that is a very like lightish gray. I've always wanted that in Minecraft, and there is one. The house is the best. Oh, dude, I've been tinkering around in a creative world on like how to make it better because obviously you know the wheels fell off the side of the, the wheels fell off the side of the house, but I have been thinking of some ways to redesign the wheels. And we started that yesterday, and uh, well, <laughs> I broke the server, so that didn't happen. <laughs> so we will. Hello there, B. Oh, dude, you know what we're going to need on this server? Just like we needed on uh, Empires, we're going to need a bee farm because of all the fun um, stuff I want to make with uh, copper. Anyway, you guys have any Q&A questions as we traverse the world in, in, in pursuit of woods? Let me know. Uh, didn't you find out why the wheels didn't stick? No, I actually don't. Um, creative, or <laughs> it's called, called Tango Creative. Uh, Tango and B-Devs and I in a creative world messed around with a little bit, and we can't figure out how to make pistons stick to the side of it. Um, we tried a bunch of different things and nothing seemed to work. Emma yeah, you just got yourself a Scarland shirt? That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Dude, you know what made me sad the other day? This, this actually made me sad. This made me sad, right? Somebody in the chat, they're, they're making fun of me. They're, they were making fun of me for wearing my own merchandise. And I'm, But I was thinking about it. I'm like, why would I make something and sell something that I wouldn't wear myself? It just doesn't make sense in my head. Like, this actually upset me. Very few things could ever actually upset me anymore i am i first of all i was born in the fires of modern warfare 2 uh lobbies back in 2010 so you could curse me out all day nothing gets through nothing gets through i don't know some of you might know of the of the of those lo those lobbies back in the day were were treacherous many things were said many things were said at me and i've grown very very strong oh i forgot my toolbox we just may, mainly need saplings but anyway let me get back to it let me get back to this. Why would I create something and sell something that I wouldn't in turn wear? It makes no sense to me. It makes zero sense. If there's something that I wouldn't wear, then why would I say, hey, this is cool. I'm selling something. That just seems so weird. It's almost like when Disney executives never go to the parks, but they're in charge of the parks. Oh my gosh, we tied it back to Disney. Um, but anyway. Uh, it just doesn't make sense to me. That's not how my brain works. Like I make something that I like and in turn that I hope you guys would like instead of like, I don't know, just make something that I don't like. I don't know. It just makes no sense to me. It makes not a lick of sense. Anyway. Unknown 5,372 bit attacked. X 500. Maybe make a big moving chest monster and then invite Pearl. Invite <laughs> Pearl. It never stops. She can't, she can't catch it. I love that. I love that. I don't know. Very, very much appreciated for the bits. Um, this is a, this is the furthest I've ever gone in the uh, the server. So I'm hoping we might be able to find some. In well, there we go. I was gonna say we're gonna might be able to find some interesting woods, and I have uh, made a terrible mistake in that I forgot to bring a bed. I shall kill a sheep along the way. Anyway, um, but yeah, as I was saying about the the stuff, like I make things that I like and wear. And I, I get like if it was just a giant, giant like good times with Scar. That might be a, maybe could be considered a little weird to wear that as the actual Scar. But all of the stuff that I design is um, supposed to take like inspiration from what we do in Minecraft, but try to make it look like real life, right? So like Moopop, kind of inspired by Cola designs, um, the Swaggin, just craziness <laughs> and then Scarland you know designed like a theme park 
um, panda rescue, like a actual like panda rescue thing, or um, Hawkeye is just on another level, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. That's how I see it. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? Um, I'm looking for a sheep because it's really dark. This is scary. Hi, zombie. I just want to find the nice woods. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this without without getting killed here. It's just gonna be a, a, a feat of strength, to be honest with you. Boom, bam, and a swoop. Look at this. Look at that precision and accuracy. Get out of here. There we go. Anyway, how are you guys doing? Orange trees. Where can I get an orange tree? That sounds amazing, dude. Okay, so as you know, I, I, I've I've been for to eight hours yesterday, two hours today. So yeah, ten hours. So I've been engrossed in in, in wood species for uh, yeah about ten hours. Um, there was a wood that I saw. I think it was mainly an exotic wood of some kind, but I have never seen it. It was like called like purple heart, and it, it was literally the same wood as crimson in Minecraft. And I'm like, oh look at that. There's actual real life crimson. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just thought that was, um, I thought that was rather interesting. There's a, there's a real, um, there's a real like wood like that. So you're saying this is orange. Oh, I like this. It's dark. I wish it wasn't so dark. Hey, that's actually not a bad wood. Sweet. Did we pick up some saplings? Beautiful. Wonderful. This is already paying off. This could be a really cool floor in my, um, my swagon house. Nice. Oh, yeah, maybe. Did I say it wrong? Is it Purple Heart? I propose used in uh, wooden boats. It's heavy and dense and water resistant. Well, look at that. Look at that. It also comes from the nether in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, I saw that one. I, I, I didn't get that one. Um, I think I shied away from the exotic woods, I think. Um, but uh, actually, I got three different one so I'm not exactly sure what I got now uh, it's kind of been a blur <laughs> it's kind of been a blur um but yeah that that one was cool I like that one another one that I thought was really cool looking too was um you wouldn't want it in like a large thing but a uh, zebra wood is really cool looking just the shapes and like the patterns in it I was like Ooh. <laughs> uh, that that's that's nice that is very nice. I think one of my favorite woods is, um, one of the ones that was my favorite, I think was, um, was it Brazilian Redwood? That was a really cool one too, but zero wood is awesome. Yeah. I wish it wasn't a uh, dock. <laughs> it's hard to see where I've dropped all these blocks. All right, let's see how many we've gotten. Oh, wow. We've gotten a lot. This is probably more than we'll need. Plus we have saplings. Nice. I mean, mainly we just need saplings, to be honest with you. Um, so then we can make it more of these. Awesome. Let's go see if we can find maybe like two or three more. Wow, that was loud. What was that? <laughs> I don't even know what that was. <laughs> just just the loud sounds. All my announcements are broken, by the way, so I apologize about that. Someday I will fix them. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't think we're seeing B-dubs. I don't know. No, could really use some sleepy times by B dubs. It's really dark. I, I I feel like we're halfway through this misery of darkness. Oh, you know what? We should get that um that gamma mod from Empires. That might be my favorite thing of all time. Casback gaming bit attack. Hello, Cas. X five hundred. Spalted woods are really cool looking too. That's wood that has had fungus grow on it just enough to discolor the wood, but not enough to rot it. Oh, dude, that sounds amazing. Dude, I'm so into woods now. I'm so into woods. <laughs> yeah, I also found another one. It uh, it was so expensive, but it was cool looking. Um, it was uh, like le leopard something wood and it was uh, it was orangish and it had little spots. And I'm like, no. Oh, the saw. I saw. Thank you for yelling at me in the chat. I'm so distracted by the darkness. I'm so distracted by the darkness. It's so dark. And a wild Mazadoodle comes out of nowhere with 87 month resubscription. 87 months. That's unbelievable. 
87 months. Can we get some hype in the chat for 87 months? That's unbelievable. Thank you so much, Maz. Your skin. What's wrong with my skin? What's wrong with it? Is something wrong with it? It's normal. It's normal. It's looking good. Looking shiny. All right, where's my... So oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> Just uh, passing through. Just grabbing my saw. No, no need to no need to worry here. No need to worry. No need to worry. Okay, we're, we're free. We got our stuff. Anyway, uh, what other cool woods did I see? I'll be honest, some of them I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> so, uh, there's that. Don't die. I'm not going to die. Look at me. Look at me traversing this land like a champion. Look at me go. Look at me go. I really wish I had that game I'm on right now. Bird's Eye Maple is pretty. Ooh, I've never even heard of that. Never heard of that. Never heard of that. Uh, 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 <laughs> I've caught on every block. All right, we got this. We got this. No worries. No worries. No worry time. No worry time. Look at me. Look at me dodging. Look at me weaving. Look at that. Look at the speed. Look at the precision. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. I'm just backtracking all my precision walking. Okay. We got this. I'm, I'm just finding vanilla trees. This is super boring. I don't have any time for vanilla trees. <laughs> no time for vanilla trees. Oh, man. Uh, that's fine. Just MCC practice. That is very true. That's very true. I'm just going to cross the river. I'm scared. Uh, let's see. My favorite wood is rainbow eucalyptus. I think I've seen eucalyptus. Like, it's got kind of like a... I feel like I've seen that wood. Was a little bit attacked. X500. Totally true scar fact of the day. Scar loves snakes. Just off camera is a wall full of snake tanks. Hundreds of snakes. No, that's not true. That's not true at all. Snakes are a, a, a scourge of the earth. They're a scourge of the earth. They terrorize people. They slither at people. They sneak up toilets. That's right. You probably didn't even know that. You probably... Oh, I think I just lost my pants. Oh, man. This... this this snake talk is distressing. I have lost my pants. I've lost my pants. I have lost my pants. Snakes are not cute. And if H-Bomb sends me a picture of a, a snake with a hat on it one more time, I will say this right now that I, uh, I hope we don't play Sands of Time. <laughs> I, I can't get over the fact when he tried to convince me snakes were cute by sending me those pictures of with hats on. I, I can't. TD underscore Scotty bit attacked. X500. Hey Scar, if you put a chest next to your so it'll collect all the drops for you. That's a big brain thought right there. Thank you. Thank you. What am I doing? <laughs> hey Scar, you've been playing this game forever. Do you not know how to make a chest? Why don't you try again? There you go. Look at me learning things. Okay, sweet. Uh, did I get a sapling? Hello? Knock, knock. Ah, there's one. Nice. Oh, dude, that's a cool sapling. That's awesome. Okay, sweet. All right, we got two. <laughs> we got two unique woods. I, I was really hoping to find that, like, whitish, grayish wood, but not seeming to find it. Scar, what are your thoughts on spiders? Oh, so I have no problems with spiders. I have no problems with spiders. My brother, on the other hand, yeah, right through the creeper. Um, my brother, on the other hand, terrified of spiders. I've told this story before, but in abbreviation, <laughs> we were uh, we were Simple kids. X five hundred. Totally true. Scar fact of the day: Every piece of merch purchased equals a new snake for Scar. He loves them. Don't crush your man. Don't buy that sweatshirt. No, don't buy that sweatshirt. <laughs> no more snakes. 
No, that's that might be genuinely the worst scar fact ever. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. I'm just gonna walk into another creeper at this rate. Snakes are just horrendous creatures. Just horrendous. I, I honestly, I don't think there's one good attribute to a snake. I, I really don't. I really don't. Unnatural creatures. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's some unique wood. They're not cute. I will not have, I will not, I will not stand for them being cute. They're not. <laughs> Mazoodle bit attacked. X500. Hash snakes for scar. Fine, I'm just gonna get wood here and you guys can just uh, have your fun in the chat. You guys can just have your fun over there. You can just have your fun. Look at my big brain. Look, bam, I remembered. You guys just have fun over there. I'm I'm just just getting my get my things. Oh, I thought I broke the server again. Hey, wait, it didn't work. What the heck? I must have put in the wrong spot then. Dang it. Dang it. What is this wood? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Please tell me this is the wood that I'm looking for. Oh, yes, that is one of them. That is one of them. I love that. That's fantastic. I can't wait to show this to b -dubs. He'll love this too. One pine sapling? Can I get one more? Can I get another pine sapling? Just in case I drop it. No, I can't. Dude, what is this? Overgrown stone? Oh, I, I love. I've never seen something so beautiful in my life. I want it all. OJ, can we have this for the Minecraft vanilla? <laughs> can we have this for the Minecraft vanilla? This is amazing. Uh, Q and a scar, will you reopen your PO box for fan mail? Uh, my kids want to send you some drawings. Um, I might, I might, um, uh, but it would probably be in a little bit in the future. Uh, William, thank you so much for the sweatshirt. I hope you enjoy it. You'll be rocking the ha 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 sweater. Actually, I called those sweaters, and people are like, that's not a sweater scar. That is a hoodie. Hey, then I called a crew neck a hoodie, and I was told, scar, that's called a crew neck. And that's not a sweater, and it is not a hoodie. And I got confused. Pop Loki bit attacked. X500. I love this. Sky I, am, I, I know exactly what I'm going to do with that. I still think they are cute. They can just be cute over there away from me. No. <laughs> I'm glad you can tolerate him at a distance. I can. Dude, I got terrified once. We were at my um, my aunt's uh, ranch, and I don't know what triggered in my head. This is maybe when I was like 10 years old, and I was like, we we're in one of the far, far out outbuildings, like sleeping, and. Um, it used to be, it was like, this building used to be, um, like a, this was like a dairy processing thing. And, um, she converted it into sleeping quarters. And I just, I, I just got this vision that I was going to wake up and I was going to wake up and there was going to be scorpions, tarantulas, and snakes in my room. And I was like, no, I'm done. I'm out. I'm going back to the house. <laughs> going back to the house, but I'm not really scared of tarantulas or scorpions, but it was all just combined I, I think I think there was conclu I think there was collusion between the snakes and those and it just kind of combined into one terrifying snake with like Little tiny legs and maybe a stinger on top. Maybe I think that's pretty much what I was envisioning uh, the snake to be um, Just a combination of tarantulas and what in the tarnation? Whatever this is, I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm gonna take it. See what this wood looks like. Ah, I like that. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but that's what I'm here for. Um. So yeah. <laughs> Snakes concluded colluding. Honey, as it gets spit attacked. X five hundred. Bought myself some merch the other day, and I'm so excited for when it comes. 
Enjoy your snakes scar less than three. I won't enjoy any snakes. I will not enjoy a single snake. Ever enjoyed their company. Never enjoyed it. <laughs> but uh, super excited uh, for you to get your merchandise. Some people are getting the hat already. Um, somebody mentioned yesterday in the stream uh, they received the hat and then I saw on uh, the Discord somebody's got it. So uh, I'm really happy that people are starting to get those uh, things, I guess. I guess it's just like... They usually have like a set time, like we're going to attempt to mail them out here, but if we can get to it sooner, we'll get to it kind of thing, I think. Um, so I kind of I kind of suspect that people are going to start um, getting their shirts um, in the next like week or two. So that'd be really exciting. I think last year they got some of the um, the orders unknown 5,300 in Europe out first. Attack. X five hundred. This is so many. Yeah, you bushes. won't enjoy one single snake, just a bunch of them. No, they're worse in pairs. No, wait, hold on. No, you won't enjoy one single snake, just a bunch. Of no, haven't you ever seen Indiana Jones? <laughs> haven't you guys seen Indiana Jones? <laughs> it's terrible. You saw that poor man, he got trapped in all those snakes. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Have you ever been on the Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland? It's terrifying with the snakes. All right, I loved that ride as a kid. That ride fascinated me like nothing else in the world. When I rode that for the first time when I was five years old, I was just like everything about it was just like mind boggling inside my head. But one aspect that haunted me was the attacks. snakes. X five hundred. They come in ones and twosles. No, not even the twosles. Dude, look at that green witch hazel planks. I love that. I, I'm running out of room in my inventory, but we'll take the saplings. We'll take the saplings. They'll be quite fantastic. Uh, the link for the merchandise can be found in the chat. A mod can go exclamation point merch, or you can find the link in the stream description. Um, or, you know, on Twitter or wherever like that. Um, this is a cool wood. Um, these these particular trees, um, Azumi is um, from... Oh, it says up there on the screen. Oh, you can't see it because my face is blocking it. Well, I apologize that my dumb face is blocking this, but it actually, these these are from uh, Oh, the Biomes You'll Go mod. Um, we thought it'd be fun to throw in like a, you know, a fun biome mod into this. I really wish I would have brought my work, my work, my work thing, my work box. Uh, our inventory is a disaster. I might forego some of these. Um, I might forego some of those. Um, because I do have a ton of the saplings and I might get rid of that. Might get rid of that. Might get rid of this too. Okay. All right. Good. We should have enough. Uh, we got a ton of witch hazel saplings, right? Yeah. Look at that. We only have one pine sapling, but that's good. That's, that's good right there. Sweet. All right. Let's see if we can get maybe like three or four more. Uh, this has been quite enjoyable. Yeah. The, you know, the, the, uh, crate mod, uh, toolbox. It's a little bit like a backpack. Hey, that's something up there. I'm excited to see what that is. Uh, let's see, Q&A Scar. Do you go out for Christmas? Uh, can I can picture you wheeling around listening uh, to King Girls. Um, do I go out? Um, <laughs> I, I, I sometimes go out places. Not often. But... Uh, you know, I used to be quite the prolific uh, uh, Christmas decorator. I mean, when, when Christmas came, I was out there. I was the one in the house untangling the Christmas lights, untangling them, getting them all set up, planning out where they, they would go from like seven years old. I was like, I loved it. Nowadays, obviously, I kind of grounded, but um, but I absolutely loved it. There was one time like my parents were trying to figure out like, what we're we gonna do for a Christmas tree. It was a whole thing. 
Um, and we're trying to figure out what to do. And then I'm like, Justin W, thank you so much for the Hawkeye shirt. I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoy uh, your Hawkeye shirt. Um, thank you so much for the support. You'll be rocking them Hawkeye shirt. You'll be teaching people velocity. Um, but anyway, I remember thinking like, dude, we have a force behind our house. Let's just go get one. So I go back there, get the chainsaw. And um, so I go back there and uh, I find what I thought was a normal sized tree. Just like this is a normal tree. This is a normal tree. It was like 35 feet tall. <laughs> I dragged this back to the house. And my, my dad's like, that's not going to go through the door. <laughs> I mean, in reality, this tree was going to, it was also going to fall over anyway, because it was very precariously up on one of our, like a slope. Um, so I <laughs> dragged this over there and you wouldn't believe how heavy this was. But, you know, this was in my younger years when I was a competitive swimmer. I was quite, uh, quite athletic. I could uh, do great feats of strength. Uh, now uh, I can basically lift a cat and that's that's very taxing. It's very taxing these days um, But yeah, you know, I, I brought I dragged that tree It probably took an hour to drag it But I dragged it up and then we had to cut like a big chunk of it off and when we brought it in the house it bas <laughs> Basically took up the entire living room if you've seen Christmas vacation It's a little bit like that when they when they unrelease the the things like the, the limbs and it all like flies out um it, it, it was a Christmas tree to remember, I'll tell you that. It was a Christmas tree to remember. What is this? Oh, this is a maple log. Let's take a peek at it. That's beautiful. Let's 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 get an up close look here. Oh, that's cool. Mazoodle bit attacked. I like that. Five hundred snakes weigh less than cats. Get a snake to lift. I'd rather be in a wheelchair than have a snake. <laughs> I don't want to lift any snakes. I don't want to lift any snakes. But they're I bet they're heavy with cruelty. Terra glows bit attacked. X five hundred. Do you have any pics of that huge tree decorated? Yes, I will have to find it. But, but I do. That was the first year my brother went to college. Um, yes, we do. I will try to find it because it was an effort. It was an effort and I had to be very sparingly on the lights. So, you know, you, when you, you wrap a tree with lights, right? You want to have like a, you know, maybe like a foot difference between it. There was like a three foot difference between the lights between one strand and the other because I had to I had to uh, maximize the the the, the length of the um, of the um, of the of the um, I cannot speak maximize the length because I didn't have a lot Elizabeth's gonna be rocking the hot 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 guy sweatshirt gonna be teaching all of their friends about velocity. Hey, hey, hey. Um, yeah, it was fun. The best part about it was trying to squeeze it through the door. Like, it was like my mom, my dad, we were all just like, trying to pull it through the door. Bit attack. It was really fun. X500. Gotta go sleep. Good night and enjoy your snakes. Good night. Oh, no, no. I hope you have a wonderful night. I'm going to enjoy no snakes. <laughs> but thank you so much for the bits. Hope you do have a wonderful night. Um, but yeah, it, it was so fun trying to squeeze that thing through the door. But it was a really fun Christmas. My 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 grandparents um, came. So they drove up from uh, they drove up from California. It was really fun. Yeah, so that that was that was a weird year because that was the first year my brother was out of the house. So it was a weird Christmas, but it was very nice that my like grandparents came. So that was really fun. My brother was too cool to go to come back to Christmas to see us. He had to go to Florida. He had to go to Florida with his friends. 
<laughs> Mr. Cool, Mr. Cool College Guy going to his swimming training camp in Florida. Look at me. Just leave, leave me alone in the house. I think we may have ran out of cool trees. Now we're just in boring oak trees. How dare you insult Florida? <laughs> Annabelle got a sticker pack. Gonna be rocking that hot guy sticker. Gonna be putting Scarland stickers on your laptop or your water bottle or your car or your cat. <laughs> or your cat. Let's see, I watched a show last night. What did I watch? Did I watch a show? No, no, I was thinking, wait, did I watch a show last night? What did I watch last night that I wanted to tell you guys about? I definitely didn't watch a streaming service. Was it a YouTube video? There was something I saw yesterday that I wanted to tell you guys about. <laughs> this cat. What was it? There was something it. Well, gosh darn it here. Well, gosh darn it, Dolly. I don't know. Huh. Gosh darn it, I don't know. I know it was something. Oh, aren't you a cute little kitty? Aren't you a cute kitty? Oh, who's a cute kitty? Looks like a graham cracker. Oh, who's a graham cracker? Um, that got weird. What was that? That was good. Oh, it's like a cave house. I've never seen that before. I was, I was, um, I was for sure going to, I was going to tell you guys about something. Now I apparently completely forgot. Alex, I'm going to be rocking a hot, hot, hot guy. Hot guy. And Ryan's going to be rocking a hot, hot, hot guy sweatshirt too. Going to be teaching all of their friends about the power of velocity. Hey, we got more trees up ahead. Those look relatively the same. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm trying to kind of keep in the back of my head. I'm using my good Ikea navigational skills. And I think if I do a U shape, so if I continue down this way and slowly make a U, we will make it back home. <laughs> I think, I think, uh, Taylor, what's up, man? Good to see you. Um, there's some, no, there's no snakes on planes. Kristen, that is the coolest sweatshirt, by the way. That Scarland sweatshirt, the construction on that sweatshirt is the most amazing. I, you're going to absolutely love it. And Sam, you're going to be rescuing them pandas with the S tier skills with a bucket of water. Tracy's going to be rocking the hot, hot guy. Going to be hot, hot guy. <laughs> I'm probably driving you guys crazy. Uh, what did I watch yesterday that I was going to tell you guys about? I was super excited about it. I don't know. I don't know. It was something. It's gone now. Uh, let's see. Uh, Q&A Scar, what is your favorite Christmas tradition? Huh. What is my favorite Christmas tradition? Um, I don't know. I guess maybe in more recent years, um, things have been a little slower around, um, around our neck of woods. Like, um, you know, especially with like the pandemic recently. So there hasn't been as many chances to see our family and sadly like we've lost quite a few family members recently so that's tough um but yeah um i, I could say like really fun memories was um i uh, going to my aunt's ranch again for christmas we did that three times or two times during my childhood so that that was really really fun because that was like the like the whole that was like the uh, like the whole family, so that was that was really that was really cool, and um, so that was like my grandparents, my aunts, uncles, cousin, my other cousin. He was very young once, <laughs> and then he was I don't know that's the funny one because he was like a baby and then he was like ten years old at one point, so it's cool little span um so that was really fun i really did love it when my brother did come back from college <laughs> when he did eventually when he was when he wasn't too cool 
Um, those were always really fun Christmases. Um, especially when my oldest brother was there and he, uh, we would make jokes and it was very funny. Um, I don't know. I, I just like hanging out with, with my family and stuff like that. We need a snake emoji. No, we need no, don't even think about giving Epic Blue Mouse even, even an ounce of inspiration. Even an ounce. <laughs> no, no, no ounces. Not even a single ounce. But yeah, one thing I'm for sure is like, you know, have fun with your family when you can because they won't be there forever. <laughs> no snakes allowed. That's, that's, that's one thing I, I've really realized in the last year. Oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh, science and discovery! Oh, oh! Oh, I don't know how we made it. I don't know. Oh, oh! It's a cow. It's a cow. It's fine, everybody. It's fine. It's just a cow. Deck probably more scared of me than I am of him. Okay. 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 Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> that was almost a science bro incident there. People wonder, Scar, how in the world did you jump off of that side? How did you not know? Like, of course, you would have had to have known. No, that's. That's how I do that all the time. Oh, man, that was scary. Oh, wow, that was super scary. Yeah, dude, that was too much science. Science Bros. sequel. Wow. This is uh, no, no tree land, by the way. This is frustrating. Nathan's gonna be rocking the hot, hot. No, wait, the hot guy. He'll be rocking the Scarland hat. Dude, if you ever go to Disneyland or Disney World, Wear that hat and take a picture and send it to me. Please. <laughs> Please. 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 <laughs> that goes for anybody. If you if you have a Scarland shirt and you go to Disneyland, send me a picture. Actually, I really need wheat right now. I'm gonna take some of this. Man, they really should have let the sword harvest this faster, but I think it's the hoe that harvests its harvest. And harvests. I can't. I cannot say that word fully. Harvest. There we go. I did it. Oh man, I am. I'm reeling from that jump. <laughs> I am reeling. Wow. We're gonna have to do inventory management again. I'm gonna probably have to say goodbye to that wood again. One more stack of that wood's gone again. Ah. Oh, anyway, guys, how are you? But yeah, if you guys have any Q&A questions as we uh, as we continue our journey of harvesting all of the magical woods of the world, um, yeah, let me know in the comments. How, how do we get? Ah, it's not bad. I actually need some wheat, so this is this works out really well. Uh, let's see, Q&A Scar, have you got any ideas for War Scarland that you can't wait to start building once you get back to Hermitcraft? Um, yes. I mean, can you guys guess what the next project is? because we did finish Main Street. Um, there will be a new section of Main Street in the front, obviously. We need to build turnstiles and stuff, um, but that's gonna require a ton of redstone that I am just plain not looking forward to after all of the storage system. So I have put that off to the side a little bit. Um, so have you guessed what our next project is? Ah, there is 6,000 comments saying castle. Yes, you're correct. <laughs> you are correct. Yes, we are uh, we are going to be moving uh, to the castle for our next project and it's going to be amazing. And guess what? I have not laid down a single block to test out shapes and colors yet. It's all just stored in my brain of what I want to do. Um, so I haven't really put pen to paper or block to ground. I'm trying to think of the way to like phrase that in Minecraft speak. Um, but I need to do some testing. I need to pull together some colors and stuff like that. Um, I don't usually do block pals. It's not really, I, I so rarely do a block pal, but for the castle, I very, my, I very, 
Uh, my tongue, it's all twisted up. I very well might um, do a block palette for that just to get an idea because it's gotta be perfect. <laughs> I can't wing it like I, I always do. Block to block, I like that, that's a good one. That's a good one. But yeah, it's, as you guys know, I, I despise Minecraft castles, I always have. Um, why do I despise Minecraft castles, you may ask? Well, when I first started playing Minecraft, everything was a castle. Everything was cobble and oak wood. And it just looked kind of um, <clears throat> trash. And the only way to... Oh, hello there. Uh, the only way to make a castle have a little bit of color, a little bit of characteristics, is when people would do world it and they would just make the most enormous castle imaginable. Just something. Oh, Scar, you scared me. X500. Hi, Scar. Have you looked at the new lighting sources yet in J? Lanterns, polished glowstone. Polished glowstone? Polished glowstone sources? Lantern? Dude, I'm gonna, I'll check, uh, I'll check the, that out after, uh, after we get back. Remind me. That sounds amazing. Thank you so much for the bits. I'm a dungeon. Weaving. Um... But yeah, as, as I was saying too, like for for uh, for castles, you had to make those so unrealistically massive um, castles in Minecraft. And the only way you could really back then, you know, add any color to it was, like I said, just making it so big that you could use, you know, full blocks as like detail block. Um, we didn't have all the half slabs and the of different colors and we didn't have all of the different materials that we have today that we can finally make a, a like a, a feels like a reasonable castle <laughs> with color. The first time I saw somebody who made a castle that I was like, dude, that's actually amazing is B-Dems. Because up until then, like I said, every castle in vanilla Minecraft was always stone and oak. And then B-Dems is like using a little bit of granite when that came out, a little bit of um, diorite. And he was making some really cool things in reasonable vanilla castle fashion, um, like scale wise, if, if you catch my drift on that. Um, and I'm just like, dang, there we go. There is a possibility to make a cool castle. <laughs> there is a possibility. Uh, but now we've what? We've got deep slate. We've got, we've got all sorts of types of sandstone. We've got the mud blocks now. We've got um, blackstone. We've got so many different colors of things. But the one color that really bothers me that we don't have in Minecraft is some nice blues. And I think we've talked about that before is I really wanted to build this castle um, spires in, in like a bluish color. And unfortunately, they're just really not the options in Minecraft. And I really hope that maybe in 1.20, maybe they're considering maybe another set of blocks and maybe those blocks might be blue, <laughs> might be blue. Uh, orange is also lacking. Um, I would say for me, orange, well, orange is my favorite color. Um, orange, I'm satisfied with orange because we have a orange concrete and we have two variants of that. So we have a very saturated and a more muted orange. Uh, we have uh, terracotta can be kind of used for like a very, very desaturated orange. And then of course we have the orange terracotta block. Uh, we have the sandstone or uh, red sandstone, which it may be called red, but it is quite orange. Um, so I feel like for me anyway, I have a lot of orange choices um, where I think that, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, whoa, oh geez, I pushed the wrong button. I was gonna push the mute button instead. I just, I hit the curse button. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I didn't curse. See, this is the, this is like the cough sneeze. And then this is the times like when you got to go like, you're... all right, back where we were saying, um, yellow. I feel like yellows in Minecraft are kind of terrible. Um, you have very, very saturated yellows, right? You have very saturated yellows. And then you have, I mean, you can kind of make a sandstone work at the yellow a little bit. Um, and so, yeah, like wool, wool, or wool, yellow and concrete yellow are so bright. It's why I really, really want a pastel yellow 
very like subtle yellow. And you know, every day I'm just like, come on Mojang, we need some blue blocks. And they just never seem to give it to us. And it's just like, I like that color and texture. Just want it without. <sighs> I haven't used that mute button in a long time. I forgot. I'll, I'll admit it. I actually forgot about it. Forgot about it. Um. Oh, you all think that I cursed. I didn't. I, I really don't actually curse. Like, this is, it's just not my normal vocabulary. It's so. Why am I, why am I just placing random blocks around here? Um. What was that? I told you my announcements are messed up. Sometimes it just makes random sounds for no apparent reason. Dude, are these dead trees? Are you crying? Is the tree crying? Oh. Why am I mildly sad? Anyway. Hold on. I got that. Okay, anyway. Uh, blue. We need blue in Minecraft. Need it. Need it. Want it. Oh, whoa, yo. This is crazy color. I, this is not what I was picturing, but I do enjoy. <laughs> I do enjoy. I very much enjoy this. We might have to just kill off the wood and just take the saplings here. Yeah, we got seven saplings. That's that's good for me. Let's grab our tool. There we go. Sweet. Did somebody ask one of the redstoners to make me a bone meal farm. <laughs> hey, guys. Any chip? Rocky stone? Dude, gonna take some of this with me. Oh, I'm gonna take some of this. That's right, yes siree. Um, but yeah, um, what, what are you guys' thoughts on that blue? Because I know some people have said like, hey, we have this block and this block, um, say like um, warped wood. But I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't consider warped wood um, blue. I, not even in the slightest. That's more of like in the turquoise thing. What I want to see is quite honestly something like, quite honestly, something like that. <laughs> it's right in my inventory. <laughs> you know, something like that would be absolutely fantastic in my opinion. I would love that. My inventory is a disaster. I should have brought capacity. But yeah, something like that is what I would really, really love. Um, warped is aqua, right? People always tell me, there is blue. And I'm like, it's not. It's not. It's not. Are you trolling me at this point? I mean, I'm not the best colorist, but, you know, I, I at least could kind of have an understanding. Kind of an understanding. But yeah, I would love to have a nice, like, rich blue. It would be so wonderful. Um, it's a very lacking color in Minecraft. Also, basically, if they just added pastel, like a, a, a series of pastel blocks like concrete, but like pastel. Um, if, if you're curious to like what that may look like, if you're having trouble visualizing it, uh, think of the frog lights. Think of that very subtle green or that very subtle yellow. Um, something in that color space would revolutionize the way we build in Minecraft. Because like I said, we, we have a lot of heavily saturated colors in the concretes and the, in the walls and stuff like that. You know the um, the terracottas are, are, are an interesting case. They're all, they're a little bit different in that way. They're not as like bright, primary, saturated. Um, but I really think we need a really really nice subtle pastels. Oh, the possibilities are endless. King, I, I mentioned this on Twitter, and one of the devs devs mentioned like it's it's a good idea. It's a good idea. But will it happen? Is the question. But is it, but will it happen? Probably not, honestly. I love this block. I'm gonna have to show this to B-dubs too. Sometimes I leave blocks that I find in this game next to B-dubs base and be like, I found cool things here. <laughs> Enjoy the cool things I found. Do, are we gonna get an inventory update? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
<clears throat> uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's check the chat. Linda301, thank you for the five month resubscription. Very much appreciated. Uh, let's see, Scar, have you watched the new Defunct Line video? I have. I watched it last night when I was really into wood. When I was when I was like deep, deep into the research, all the different uh, species and, and thicknesses and, and types and where they came from and all that stuff and and the cost. Oh my gosh, um, yeah, I watched it. That was the most most YouTube. Okay, defunct land is the most is why YouTube is great. Where else would you have ever watched an hour and a half documentary on who made? The Disney Channel jingle. Where? I mean, where else would you? Where else? Where would you watch that? Where would you watch that? Nowhere else could that have ever been made but on YouTube, and it was amazing. And Defunct Land is one of my absolute favorite YouTube channels. I've been following Defunct Land since they had like, I don't know, five thousand. I've been following them for a very, very long time. So I'm always. I don't know, it's one of those channels that I get so happy, like the more success they have, and I'm just like, these are the channels that make YouTube so special. Um, very special, so. I was very, Netflix, <laughs> where, they're where, why would Netflix be like, yeah, you know what we need? And I don't have documentary on the, on the Disney Channel jingle. <laughs> it's good, I, I like it. Um, one of my favorite takes, one of his, one of his favorite ones that, it, that he did was, um, was um, Disney America Park. Uh, the way the way they put that together with the Ken Burns style was so unique, so original. Absolutely loved it. Also, what a what a great pivots. Great pivoting, right? Because eventually you're going to run out of attractions that are gone and they have they have pivoted into other areas like old nickelodeon shows or this or that um so i think that's really cool it's a channel that that evolves and gets better which is always inspiring um obviously i don't do those same things but it's always just inspiring um to see see that I've got a Hawkeye, a Hawk, Hawk, Hawkeye jacket. Gonna be rocking the Hawkeye bomber jacket. And it's gonna be amazing. People are gonna see me and be like, it's a Hawkeye right there. Stay back, everybody. Got a Hawkeye here. Is Scar lost? I wasn't gonna call attention to it. Oh, you know, I wasn't gonna be like, hey guys, I'm lost because that would have been embarrassing. But yes, now you mentioned it, I, I might be a little lost. It's not not the end of the world. Everybody gets a little lost in life. Um, right? Right? Okay, I did write down the coordinates. So you can't see it because my dumb face is in the way, but we're at 3000 X, Y, eh, it doesn't matter. Um, and then our Z is 75. We're 2300 blocks off. Wait, we've been here. How in the world did we make a circle? We just made a circle. <laughs> I thought this was a dead tree and I got really excited. I don't know what way's home. I think this is the, I think this is our home. I think this is our home. This is our way home. Dude, I don't know how we made a circle. Can somebody draw a map? <laughs> I'd love to see a map of how that was possible. That's crazy. Well, you know, I am a IKEA navigation specialist. So this was all in the plans. Remember how I said I was gonna make a U? Just not exactly the U that I thought. It was a special U. Um, a scar U, if you will. It's a, it's a little different shape than a traditional U that you may be familiar with within the English uh, wordage. Um, yep, this was all according to plan, everybody. Don't, don't worry. This is all the plan. <laughs> Just a warped U. I can't believe that. That's hilarious. And to find the exact spot that we like 
turned around from. Uh, I love that. That's great. Anyway, well, we got a ton of cool saplings. These are going to be really, really fun to play around with wood. I got a massive build coming, so I wanted to experiment with some of the different wood colors. Uh, if we've got them, we got to try them. Oh my god, a cloud of pixels. I'm getting some uh, Wizard of Oz vibes, like we're going to get um, get poisoned by the witch. Concerned we're not going the right way again. Eh, we're making progress. Yeah, it's slow. It's slow. It's slow, but steady. <laughs> it's slow, but steady. Okay, so now we got some wood. Uh, when we get back, uh, I want to make one of those smasher mix smasher mix. Can't even speak. Those smasher machines that take like the uh, the ingot and then smash it down. Um, and I also want to make one of those mixer machines. So like a KitchenAid mixer um, so we can get some brass. And then we can finally start working on the wheels because I don't want to I don't want to rely on using Zed's base. We might actually use this base to get a, a grind mill. Is that an apple tree? Is that an apple tree? Oh, dude, that's amazing. First thing we do here is chop it down. <laughs> that's super cool. It's not going to be rocking a hot, 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 ha, 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 hot guy sweatshirt. Going to be rocking two apparently hot guy sweatshirts. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you enjoy and you'll be able to teach your friends and your family the power. Chat, fill in the word. You know it. Come on, chat, fill it in. What do, what do, we, what do we teach people as hot guys? What do we teach people? Velocite. There we go. Velocite. There it is. No, not snakes. Not snakes. Not snakes. Velocite. Velocite. Okay, chat, question, boom. All right, get 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 your fingers ready. Get your fingers ready. Andor, season one, I'm lost. Oh shoot, wait, wait, okay. Uh, I know, Jelly, I'm lost at the moment. I'll tend to your needs in a moment. Andor, season one. At a rating of one to 10. What was it for you? What did what, what do you what do you think? What do you think? What are we thinking here? As, uh, out of one one through ten, what do we think? What do we think? We're getting some eights, some sevens, some some tens, some nine point fives, some nine point fives, an eight point ten, a nine, ooh, wow, a thousand. Somebody loved it. Hundred and eleven. Haven't seen it. Six six six. Okay, now we have some some middle middle of the rotors are coming in. Um. 15 okay that's that's a little past the 10 but that's okay uh there's gonna be buck in the hot hot how caught guys sweatshirt absolutely love it thank you for the support i really really hope you enjoy your hot guy sweatshirt my favorite piece of merchandise is that crew neck sweater like the construction on it is so good that it's like heavy it's like this is heavy <laughs> this is heavy it's got my mom told me because she knows she used to make a lot of like clothes She's like, um, it's got panels on the side. And I'm like, I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. Um, 6.9. You know, I don't really see a zero. Oh no. I was going to say, I haven't seen any like very low numbers. So whenever I talk about Endor, it seems like people, people enjoy it like in the, in the chat and you know, I've enjoyed it. Um, but the ratings have just been abysmal. And I was looking at the ratings yesterday and I'm like, it's a good show. People should give it a chance. It's not, it's not, you know, wild and crazy, but it's um it's got good actors and good good writing and stuff like that. Get to go back to Coruscant for crying out loud. <laughs> well, okay, I'm gonna, I will nitpick their Coruscant quite a bit. Let's just leave it. Well, let's leave it at that. But it's not a George Lucas Coruscant. Um, but it's uh it's still fun to go back. 
Um, one of my favorite things was actually from episode three. For whatever reason, I like that little shuttle craft that uh, the thrift store owner was in. Remember that when he's talking to that guy from the planet and he's like, they don't they don't make them like they used to. Um, he's in that little uh, like shuttle. I love that thing. That's a real practical set, by the way. That was a real practical set hoisted up by a crane. You know, when you get hoisted up by a crane, you know, that's a good. That's some good quality set making. The best thing, if you if you think of Andor, the best thing about Andor, and I bet you all agree with me, you didn't roll your eyes like you did Obi-Wan or Boba Fett. Because there's some logic issues in those movies that don't make a lick of sense. And you're just like... <laughs> you're just like... Dude, it's got a... Wait, no, I have the hot guy in my mind so much. The Scarland crew neck sweater. The good construction. Hey, my mom vouches for that sweat sweatshirt being good. It has the panels on the sides. I don't know what the panels are, but she talked very highly of them. They're stretchy. Free her? Free who? Free my mom? No, she she's she's free to move around the house, but not outside. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know what I'm freeing my mom for. Oh. oh, jelly. I'm freeing jelly, not my mom. Oh. Hi, Jelly. Chill. Chillkins. Wally Wally Wallerkins. Jelly. Hi. Yeah, she's all right. She's all right. She can hang out. Um, but yeah, it. Um, I was just surprised. I was surprised. I think sometimes when it comes to, like, Andor, um... Maybe for more of the casual fans, they're like, I think I remember Andor from Rogue One. I think maybe, yeah, you know, I could see maybe if it was like Boba Fett, people are like, yo, Boba Fett, um, I'm gonna watch that. But maybe Andor was a little bit of a barrier for people to to get into potentially. Hey, we are very close to home, by the way. But I do hope people give it a chance because it was good. Uh, it would be nice if Star Wars realized that making like quality writing as a priority would be something that. Uh, yeah, it would be great. I'll say one thing that, that absolutely that still annoys me to this day about Andor is that we didn't see Sly more. You don't, you don't, you did it all off camera. You, 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 you hype up this dinner party. Everybody's excited to finally see this very background but important character finally get some screen time. And they're like, no, we're going to do it off camera. Did you think you were going to get to see this character that you've always wanted to see from the comics? Did you think that for a second? Ha 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 ha! We are, we will destroy your dreams. <laughs> or what's up? What's Palpatine's other buddy? Um, so Slymore is like that, that, that lady kind of lurking in the background with the crazy eyes. And then there's the guy with the big horns and the, and the staff. And he's always going like, rah, rah, rah. And he burnt the, the lightsabers. Mean guy. What's his name again? Masamita? Yeah, I was I was really hoping we would see those those um seriously, it would have made me so happy in the Senate scenes when Mom Mothma's just getting ignored. If one of those characters like pulled out their staff and was like, and that is all that is all from the center the senator from Sandrilla. Sandrilla. <laughs> I, almost, I said like every uh, Star Wars planet in my head, but the right one. That is enough. That is enough. I don't know why, but it would it would have made those scenes so much more than just like a brief glimpse of her just talking. Um, I don't know. I, that's what I really wish they would have done. Um, that is enough from the senator from Mustafa. I would have been so happy if they would have done that. That that would have that would have been great, but they didn't. That's okay. It's fine. Just just the worst kind of storytelling is uh, uh, you talk about it and then you show it off camera. And it's like, don't do that. Yes, it can be delivered to Europe. Uh, what are those trees? Oh, those are beautiful trees. These are uh, aspen trees. Aspen trees. Ha 
Have I seen the new factory? Yeah, I've got, I've trolled Tango a few times in it. As we thank you so much for the 10 gifted subscriptions to the community. That is very generous of you and very much appreciated. Uh, let's see, Twisted. Um, I did talk heavily about um, uh, Bob Iger's return in the last stream. I don't, if, if I get going again, I might go for an hour on it. I highly encourage you to watch it because I went on this epic, epic rant of how Bob Jacob was the worst long before he was actual CEO. Because a lot of people know the the, the issues that Chapik did while he was a CEO. Getting into fights with actresses, like... Why? Like, you know, just the myriad of things that he did. There was just like... But the Parks people... <laughs> bye bye, Paycheck. Um, the Parks people, my people, we warned everybody that Bob Jacob was not the right person for the CEO. Nobody listened. Nobody listened to us, us Parks people. Um, and so I kind of went into detail on some of the decisions that led me to say that that would be a bad choice for a, for a CEO based on a lot of like very, very poor choices when it came to what attractions, cost cutting, uh, lack of a creative vision, just trying to fill things with IP um, assumptions, right? Because what I see a lot of times with these kind of executives is they see people like the general public as, as like in almost a condescending way. They're like, hey, if we just put Woody out there, if we just throw Woody there, you know, Jimmy's going to love it. He's going to be like, yay, Woody. And it's like they, they think people are such like simple people like people people love like unique ip like the haunted mansion of the pirates of the caribbean right like they they love those types of things um what attraction has lived on any longer so infamous but pirates of the caribbean it's, it's the greatest right and that's a that's a unique original ip and think about this way like if if you know and this goes to bob Iger. bob Iger hasn't made an original attraction since okay when was the last time disney a green lit and a, a unique, a unique attraction that was not tied to any IP in the United States. And I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was Expedition Everest. Expedition Everest was made in... ...2006 or 2007. Am just got a panda rescue shirt. It's gonna be amazing. You're gonna be rescuing those pandas at an S tier level. Um, but yeah, so it's like, I, I, I just get frustrated when when they don't see the value in it, when they're just like, it's gotta have an IP or nobody's gonna recognize it. Nobody's gonna want it. Like, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I mean, Mystic Manor at Hong Kong Disneyland is one of the coolest attractions that Disney has ever made. If, if you have some time today, um, go watch, a, go watch it on YouTube. Just just type Mystic Manor, Hong Kong Disneyland, and it's got a beautiful Danny Elfman um, soundtrack throughout the entire ride. Trackless attraction, plenty of animatronics, uh, practical ex practical sets combined with um, projection effects, which is actually my preferred thing than just a bunch of screens. Um, anyway, I'm, I've gone on the rant that I was trying not to do. But well, it, it pretty much just comes down to I am happy to see Bob Jacob go because he wasn't good for the parks. And he wasn't good for the company. Uh, my only concern now is that oh, go away, chiseling bits. You lag out my menu. Um, my only concern is that some of the mistakes that Bob Iger made in his latter years, I hope he recognizes those to be mistakes and will um, fix some of them. I hope. Because he was very good in those early years. Oh, man. Like, what, what, when did he start? 20, 2006, 2007-ish ish around there? Um, or 2005? I don't know. Somewhere in those years. Um, yeah, th those, were, those were golden years. Brought back so much quality to the parks in those years. Crazy. But yeah, if you want to see a full rant, I go, I go, I go, I get deep yesterday. <laughs> I get deep. Okay, sweet. We got lots of fun things from our adventure. Um, 
I love this. Beta rat underscore bit attacked. X500. Love that. Genuine question. As an aspiring content creator, how do you network with people without looking like you're just a fan trying to talk to a con? You don't. You create content and people will follow you, find you. That's how I did it. Am I, am I saying that that is the only way or if that's the right way? No, but that is how I've, that, that's how I've done it. My entire career is that I have done my own thing and tried to do it the best way that I could possibly do it, improve myself and always make, make, you know, you know, not, I don't know, just try to put a good example out there. And when you do that, when you create good content, you make a great example of yourself. People will want to work with you. I, I am the absolute worst person imaginable to network. I <laughs> like there's tons of stuff that I might actually want to do with people, but I, I just I don't know. I just have such a hard time asking him like even right now, like I want to do something with beatups and it's it's paid me like three days to ask him. <laughs> beatups and I are great friends. <laughs> we are great friends. I talked to him for like four hours the other day. But I never actually asked him about the one thing that I actually want to do with him in a video. Um, but yeah, like I, I'm just very, very bad at asking somebody to do something. So what I like to do, uh, Azra's going to love their amazing Hakka, Hakka sweatshirt. They're going to be teaching their friends and family the power of the velocity. Um, anyway. So that's that's how I do it. And please don't think that that is the only way or the right way. It might be the worst possible way. And it's like I always say with advice, advice is a lot like uh, like a buffet. You 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 look at something, and you're like, that's that's nice, but not for me. I might take a little bit of this or I might take a lot of that. Um, that's how I always look at advice. But that's that mystery phantom announcement. Um, but yeah, just make the best possible content you can and people will notice people people will notice and that's that's the best advice i can give because that is from my own experience i forgot about my copper <laughs> i forgot about my copper all right let me check in the chat here <laughs> Great man, one set of advice is like a buffet. I mean, that's how I see it. That's how I see it because not all advice is right for everyone. A lot of people just make blanket statements that this is for everybody, but it is absolutely not. Piece of advice, it is very much like a buffet in that you you take what works for you and you might get you might get the worst advice. It might be some of the best advice you ever got. You're like, hey, that's the worst. <laughs> Definitely not gonna do that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's how I, that's how I always see it because not all advice is right for everybody. I mean, you can like think about it as like medically, like not every medicine is right for everybody. Not ever, not everything is, is appropriate. We are very unique and individualistic in our, our own selves. And so not everything is, um, is, um, it's like a group thing. So that's how I, that's how I see it. Hannah's gonna be rocking, you guessed it, the hot guy bomber jacket. Gonna be teaching people that velocity. Velocity. Those patches on there are so fun. I, I actually just bought, <laughs> I just bought myself uh, another one. So I got a sample, like when they were doing the testing of them, see if they were, you know, correct in their design and stuff like that. But I'm like, I want another one in case I wear out the first one. So I just bought, I just bought myself another one. Um, all right. So we are back. We've got our trees, so that's good. Um, I want to start making some contraptions. So we need to make them. We need to make them. This has got a high, uh, Skyline t-shirt. Ooh, it's, I call that one my dad's shirt. <laughs> Call that one my dad's shirt. Because he, he likes that one. Okay. Um, we need to get to work here. So let's uh let's see what we need. So we need to make a mechanical press. I need your help, everybody. I need your help on this. 
Uh, let's see, Q&A Scar, would you ever do voice acting? You have such a cool voice. Well, I appreciate that. I sometimes feel like I have a terrible voice. So I appreciate the confidence boost there. I, I do very much appreciate that. So is it just a mechanic? Is it just a mechanical press? Is that what it is? A mechanical mixer and mechanical press. Okay, hey, there we go. So we need a block of iron. We need an andesite casing and a shaft. Okay, we've got this. We're gonna have machines. I'm excited about this. Okay, so we need one of those. Maybe we'll take some of those for, for extra. Um, I know I've made some of those shafts. Hey, we made some of those yesterday. Okay, we got that. Now we need an andesite casing. Do I have any of those? Because I made one of those in the past. I think we like punched a tree or something. Oh, andesite casing. But how do you make these? Okay, this isn't the recipe. What is this? Um, andesite alloy. Made these quite a while ago. I need to remember how to make these. That's zinc. Ah, andesite. Okay. Um, I think I remember how to do this. We strip and then we bang it. Oh, that, that worked. That is such a crazy recipe. Wow. Huh. That's such a funny recipe, but it worked. Okay, sweet. All right, we got that. Beautiful. All right. Um, okay, so what else do we need? I think that's enough. Linear chassis. Ooh, what's this? Okay, I, this is this is actually what we need. Mechanical press. Okay, okay, we've we've done it, we've done it. Um, bam. Input items can be dropped and placed on the deep. So we need this Smasher McSmasherson. All right, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We can't... I don't know how to do any of this stuff yet. I'm just trying to get to the Smasher. Okay. Okay, we need the Depot? Okay. Oh, well, that's easy. It's just a uh, andesite casing and andesite alley. Okay, okay, we're, we're doing well. We're doing well. We're, we're, this is way easier than I thought. Sometimes when we've done modded stuff, like I, I panic because I'm so bad at it. This is so intuitive. This is so intuitive. This is why I love create. It, it just makes sense. I love this. Okay, now do we crank it? Just remember where I put my stuff. Um. I'm not gonna have to go to Zed's base to smash things anymore. This is gonna be fantastic. Um, I think I put these on here like that, and then I hooked that like that. We did it with Tango once. Oh, it works. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, sweet. Obviously, this is just rudimentary. We're gonna make this, you know, do eventually with automation like that photo or that animation showed, but this is great. Okay, fantastic. How many do we get? Hey, look at that. Awesome. We don't have to travel to other people's bases anymore. Sweet. I'm happy about this. Okay. Um, the mixer. Man, we are we are rolling, guys. <laughs> we are rolling. Okay. Um, mechanical mixer. Uh-oh, what's this? What a whisk? Oh, that's easy. Man, I was fe I was legitimately worried, right? I was legitimately worried that um, that I was gonna like just get lost and wasn't gonna be able to do this. And this is why I say for people who might be on the fence of like getting into create, it's so easy and so intuitive. I mean, some mods like applied in logistics and some of those mods are so confusing. Uh, but this is so well designed that it just even for a goofball like me, I'm just like oh, I know how to do this. <laughs> I know how I can do this. Okay, so let's make a whisk. There we go. Bam! Wait, no, that's a propeller. I want a propeller too. Um, whisk. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I will, I will investigate that later. Um, okay, so whisk, beautiful. Grab that. Um, 
Oh, a, a cog. Okay. Let's grab one of those. I think I have. Yeah, I got one right here. Sweet. As B Bubs would say, we're gonna cog out here. All right. A mechanical mixer. Nice. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Bam. Hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna probably need some more pieces. Okay. Let's ponder this. Uh, let's see. With a mixer basin. Okay, do I need a basin? Fill the rest of the place include... Oh, what's this down here? Oh, it's one of those blaze burners. I didn't even see that at first. Okay, so we need some kind of heat source. You can do filters. So I need a basin, right? I think I need a basin. I do? Okay, sweet. All right, let's sleep and then we'll get that. We'll get that. Um, Blaze Burner, right? I, I've, I've used it over at uh, Zed's base. Um, David's gonna be rocking a Skyline shirt. Oh, that's actually the Skyline shirt that I'm wearing right now. There we go. You're gonna love it. Uh, thank you for the support very much. Um, Blaze Burner is optional. Um, but is there another source or do you think I should get a Blaze Burner? Do you think we should go, think we should go and get ourselves one? Um, basin, 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 basin. Let's see, basin, basin, beautiful. And a side alloy. Oh, okay, sweet. That's easy too. That is easy too. I think. Maybe not. Oh, I have an side alloy. Okay. I don't know why I had to run over there. I didn't need it. Bam. And boom. Wow, it just got really laggy all of a sudden. <laughs> just got really laggy. Okay. Kira goes and bit attacked. X500. Hey, Scar. I appreciate you so much and would love to do some fan art. Do you prefer Scar fan art with or without wheelchair and tubes? Um, I don't I don't mind the wheelchair either or is, is perfectly fine with me um, when it comes to the tubes I don't know I don't see myself with them as much as I would maybe the wheelchair but at the end of the day it I don't care what you create because that is your art that is your interpretation of me so I'm okay with whatever I think when I picture myself like I'm totally cool with wheelchair or not a wheelchair um, the tubes, maybe I don't picture myself as much with that, but like I said, I, I don't want to hinder anyone's creativity. Um, I just love seeing what you guys create, and I love seeing your imaginations and what you do create. So I'm always open to whatever, honestly. Um, I just love it. It's one of my absolute favorite parts of content creation is seeing just the incredible artwork that people create. It's always just so inspiring. <laughs> it's just so inspiring, especially... Recently, like people made these in just incredible animatics for the Double Life series too. That was something that was new. And and you guys mentioned uh, cosplay in the last stream. I went and looked at it and I saw people doing cosplay. I was like, this is amazing. The artists in the community, co ooh, artists in the community are so fantastic. Um, let me just search create. Wow. Oh, hey, good job, Scar. You, you spelled that really well. Apparently I can't spell create. Hey, look, I did it. Um, partially. <laughs> Missing an E. <laughs> Missing an E. There we go. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing on here? Do I need like a, a source of heat below the basin? I don't know. I don't even know what to even search for. Getting a blaze will help. Yeah, maybe. Because I don't think we can do our mixing in here, right? It's uh, it's copper and zinc, correct? To make um, this. Yeah, because if I put if I put these guys in here, just toss them in there. That's not gonna work. I need I need to I need some heat. It needs a cog. You saying we're gonna to need to cock out here? Burners need heat. I don't know 
what to do. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. Um, I guess I suppose we could go to the Nether and find a find a blaze, or we could. Hmm, I'm not sure what to do. Let's ponder. Let's ponder real quick. A basin can hold items and fluids for processing. Okay, we get that. Simple enough. What's this? What is this? After processing, step basin and try. Oh. What's this? What is this? Basin will show an output faucet. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. An output and that can go into these different items. Okay, good, good. We're pondering. Good ponders with Scar right now. What's this? What is this? Oh, there's the cog you guys mentioned. That output faucet basin will retain items created in its processing. Okay. Wait, that's a smasher. Why is it smashing in the basin? I'm so confused now. Wait, you can take solid items and smash it in a basin? Is that what I'm kind of getting at? <laughs> I'm so Okay, now I might have got a little confused. Okay, maybe I got a little confused now. Uh, that I really ponder that one to death. Um, uh, let's see. Tango and Zed have some or an online ponder a mixer. Ponder a mixer. I will do so much pondering for you. Here we go. Ponder it away. Can I not? Can I not hand crank a mixer? Is that a yes or no on that one? Okay, I'm getting yeses and nos. You can't, so I can crank it. No hand cranking, oh my gosh. <laughs> the chat is telling me both things. Okay, how about how about this? You can hand crank it or you cannot hand crank it? It needs to be indirect. And somebody says I needed a cog. You can't, okay. Yes, you can't, no, you guys just. <laughs> so confused right now no regalist i will not have that i will not have any of these snake things <laughs> i saw what you did regalist I, I saw it i saw the snake i saw it i'm so confused somebody says i need a cog i'm gonna grab one X500. It's a big one. I believe it depends on what you're making. Some things can be hand cranked. Some need a faster speed. Oh. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. I mean, I've been told to put... I've been, I, okay, that makes sense. So you can make some recipes, guys, but then some others not. Okay. All right. Makes sense. Um, I've been told this works. Okay. Maybe not that. Okay. Yeah. Prob probably not that. Don't disregard. Pretend I didn't do that. Yeah. Just, just pretend. Disregard. Wait, this is the mixer. No, no, I'm, I'm lost now. Okay, okay, I've made, I've made, I've made terrible mistakes. Okay, let's pretend that nothing just happened a few seconds ago, and I was telling you about how cool like cats are. Like cats are just so fun, you know, it's amazing. <laughs> cats are fun. <gasps> there we go. All I needed was a was a cog. That's amazing. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Thank you guys. All right. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, that is legit progress. Now, I not entirely sure this is going to work, but let's just experiment together. No, I'm not getting the bits. I'm not getting the bits. I think I need the, I need the burner snake powered. I, I'm not even going to answer that one. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is what, this is what it is. All right. I suppose what's the recipe on this? Come on, I need to ponder. Right click a place with an empty burner. Dude, that's super easy. I could do that in a second. I'm a genius. I'm a, I'm a genius when it comes to doing things like this. It's one of my best attributes. Oh, oh this is easy, guys. Some people were doubting me in the chat that I could do that. Oh, I got all those materials too. Easy, easy peasy. Let's roll. Um... Hold on, let me let me let me let me bang these down a couple and then we'll be we'll be ready to roll. Hey, get back on there. Get back on there. I could probably use another crank. <laughs> I could really use another crank. Oh, 
you never doubted me. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> appreciate that close. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. All right, there we go. Man, we're geniuses here. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Nether ward? Nether, nether brick, nether brick. Hey, 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 I knew I had some in here. Boom, sweet. And bam, we've got ourselves a blaze burner. Take some of these for safety because I am, I am all about safety. You know what? Do we need new armor? Oh, what do you guys think? Oh, I, I, I'm going to say that that's not scar safe. Nice. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go get crazy. As B Dips would say, let's go cog out and let's go get some armor. We're gonna go get. Okay, there's spoilers up there. I was gonna get. Re I was getting really excited for a second. I'm not gonna look. Not gonna look. Not gonna look. Go cock wild. There we go. All right, beautiful. So we have no elytra, so buy them. We're getting that. We're getting a hat. Boom, and we're getting shoes. We are gonna be balling. That's amazing. All right. Um, I think this is probably the best one to enchant first. Eh. 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 I do enjoy Death Strider, to be honest with you. Bam, Death Strider and protect. Oh, blast protection. Bam! Okay, well, not great. Fire protection! Oh, we could actually probably use that. We could probably use that. We just need a little bit more enchants, and then we can get that. That'll be sweet. Let's break another one of our furnaces. Ah, uh, the protection for the building inspectors. That is very true. Mystic Archer, thank you so, so much for the five gifted subscriptions to the community that's very generous of you and very much appreciated very very much you need to see the monorail i know i have got to see the monorail can't wait to see the monorail have they have the others talked about i've been a little bit out of it right i've been i've been researching researching wood um has um oh wait we need to break this oh that's right rain in all of those xps um, quick question. So has the others talked about um, the plan, like that we're going to build something or are they not? Or am I spoiling something? Just curious. But anyway, if they haven't disregarded anything. Okay. I'm not going to say anything. All right. So we've got a big chest plate. We can get fire protection on that. Bam! Fire protection and unbreak. Okay, that's not the best. <laughs> it's not the best, but I can live with that. I can live with that. I can live with that. Okay, sweet. Um, all right. So I'm going to keep these in my inventory. And let's go. A giant industrial town. Okay. I was just curious. Just wondering. Just wondering. Okay. <gasps> I'm a genius. We're, we're out of here. We're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, take that, other guys. He probably died many times. Probably was dangerous. But me, a genius Minecrafter, capable of great feats of strength as an S tier, was capable of defeating the Blaze within moments of, of, of my victory. Wow. And Amanda, enjoy your hat. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. Oh. Wow. Wow. I'm really happy with myself right now. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with myself right now. <laughs> That's what we call an S tier move. You know what? 
You know what? You know what? There were two of them. I think I saw two of them. Why were they chilling out by the portal, by the way? We're getting another one. That's what an S tier would do. He would get two. <laughs> he would get two. But yeah, why were they hanging out by the portal? I thought I would have to travel long and far to find those. I knew there was a, um, I knew I ran into a, a temple once when I was getting Blackstone, but uh, to ambush you, well, think again when you ambush a hot guy. Oh, I surprise attacked that blaze. Didn't even know what hit him. So we call easy mode. Bam, we've got two of these now. I don't know, maybe we could give that to beat ups if he doesn't have one or maybe he has one already. Um, okay, how do you start blazing out? Oh, we need a fuel source. We need a fuel source. That's right. Give me a second. But I remembered. Uh, oh, by the way, did you guys see that? When I was getting Blackstone, four ancient debris. Oh, that's an apple. There we go. There we go. Any fuel. All right. Sweet. Okay. Let's see if this works. Yeah, you know, I'm going to really need two handholds at this point. <laughs> this is uh, very cumbersome. Oh, it's zinc. Did I put anisite in here? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I definitely knew that. I, I, I for sure knew that. I was just testing your guys' knowledge. Dude, it's working! Okay, I'm eating. Oh, there we go. Had to have a lunch break. Oh, man, we need to automate this. My fingers are already sore. Yeah, my fingers are already sore. It, 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 uh, it's the case with the S tier. All that, all that precision clicking. Very, very precise. Very precise. Very in tune. Very in tune. Most of the products need more speed. Yeah, I, I definitely picture we're going to need to get some power going. Um, but at least we can make brass. I mean, that's a big start. Dude, we got 10 ingots. We can make so many of these, um, the, the wheels, the, the flywheels. These things are beautiful. I think I made some yesterday. And this is what we're going to use um, on the side of the vehicle on that moving house. So we're going to use these. And what we're going to do with them, at least my vision with this, is we're going to potentially put two of them right here. So one on this side, one on the other side here. And I think what that's going to do is it's going to really help balance out um, the weight of the house. Because right now it feels a little awkward kind of using the pistons or maybe the grindstones. And then I think we'll put one of these in the front. So two of these in the back, one in the front, I think will we'll create a much better scale for, for, the, um, for it. Uh, the S in S tier stands for scar. That is, uh, that is true. I've been told this. I have, uh, I have been told this. Dude, I really thought this blaze was going to be a disaster. I was like, this is how we end the stream. <laughs> in a complete disaster. Chaos, thank you so much for the raid. Very, very much appreciated. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome. Um, uh, you missed it, but I just created great feats of S tier strength. Um... I am very happy about that. That was really fun. <laughs> uh, wait, it's zinc, right? Yeah. Oh, and this guy needs to blaze it back up again. Come on. There you go. All right. Anyway, let me check with the chat as we uh, mix. Be more confident in your S tier skills. Uh, I'm, I'm no S tier. I just like to make a joke of it. Uh, Kieran Scar, what does your mom think uh, of everyone calling you out? I don't know. She probably Basirat thinks it's funny. X500. 
From left to right, what is the best tool order, and why? For me, it is sword, pick, axe, shovel, and then opt. Oh, that's interesting. So, sword, pickaxe. I think the order that I have it currently is basically how I've done it forever. There's no real means of say, oh, this is the most efficient way or anything. It's just kind of how I've been used to it. So, uh, pickaxe, um, axe, shovel, sword. If you're, you know, PV. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I, I, this has been a workout session. I will admit it. Like the, the muscles here, the sweat. This is top. Why am I, why am I starving? What, what happened to me? What happened? What in the world? Did we run out of zinc too? I think I might've ran out of zinc. We need a lot of brass by the way. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's just the best I've always, why is that not working? Oh, oh, we need more blaze power. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how I've always done it. There's chocolate in this mod pack. Really? Dude, we've got so much brass. Oh, this is fantastic because we do, like I said, uh, we do need a substantial amount of brass. So that is, uh, that's very exciting. I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. There we go. Sweet. All right. Anyway, back to chat. Back to the chat. Uh, there's better ways of doing things manually. Well, obviously, we're just trying to get, you know, we're just trying to get into it um, and just understand the mechanics of it. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is when I build the house for the house, um, I think on the upper level of it, I think we're going to start making it automated. Um, I think that'd be a perfect place too to in install some. Um... Uh, let's say, right, enjoy your uh, sweatshirt. I think you got the discovery one. I think that's what it popped up there. I think it was. You'll love it. Got a design on the back, got a design on the front, looking super snazzy. Um, how's your relationship with a toy that's definitely not a toy? Um, he's not a toy. He's a he's an honorable honorable gentleman. Um, I like to affectionately refer to him as an action figure. I think that, but I, I would not say it to his face. He's he's a sensitive boy. Um, but, uh, you know, I like, I like Jimmy a lot. He's hilarious. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy makes me laugh constantly. I really do think he should embrace, embrace being Woody. Woody's an honorable man. He's a leader. He's respected in the community. Um, he's respected, honorable, honorable person. So I think he, I think he should embrace Woody. My work won't be done unless he embraces Woody. Oh, dude, we still have a ton of diamonds left. So that's that's good news. Wow, I might have to mix up this chest. <laughs> this chest is getting like super, super full at this point. Um, do I have a place where I keep my... Oh, here's where I keep my coal. Nice. And then we can take this over here. We can dump those in there. Dump that. Oh, the, the propeller. Do we ever figure out what we could do with the propellers? Can I ponder this? No, I can't. Do we know what we can do with the propeller? Uh, eat. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't get our protein shake. Our muscle milk, our muscle milk jelly. Our protein. My muscles may be enormous, but I'm running out of strength. All right, sweet. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. This is good. So like, like we mentioned, like you guys have mentioned in the chat, we need to eventually get more power to these things. So, you know, actually having it, you know, work, <laughs> you know, work <laughs> um, without having to hand crank it because I'm not sure we have enough food to keep hand cranking this. Uh, water wheel, that's true. So let me give you a little impression of what, what I plan here. So um, what I want to build in this area is in, a, in like a building that encompasses the moving house. So the house has a house and uh, it has opening and closing doors on the front and the back. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, why did you appear when I'm trying to explain things? I don't know what to do. I'm lost. I'm scared. 
Oh, the water, the water, the water, the water. Woo! Nope, that's not water. Nope, 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 nope. That's water. Ah. Scared of water, aren't you? I can teach you how to swim. I've taught hundreds of kids how to swim. All right, we're back. Okay, so um, what I have envisioned on this hill is like a barn slash, um, it's like a barn slash hangar. So it has doors on the front and doors on the back. And so it's kind of got like a hangar vibe. Um, on the top level, we should have enough room to do some automated things because I'm thinking about doing a windmill on the outside. So do you think a windmill would be a good a good source of um, of power? Let's let's ponder. Let's ponder together here. Is that the only shape we can make? I want to do one of the I want to do like a traditional windmill, but that I mean, that's fine. Can I do like oh you can die them? Ah, I like that, but can I can I make it go out like this? Any shape? Thank you. Sweet. I mean, that's fine. I might do one of those too. Um, but I want like the traditional like windmill look. I love how you could dye that. Man, the crate mod's amazing. It's so well designed. Makes me so happy. Okay, sweet. Yeah, so I'll have that up there and then we can use that potentially for power and maybe even have a few more of them up there. Um, so I think that'll work out really, really well. I'm excited. I'm excited, Jelly. <laughs> okay, um, there is something that I needed. I needed something. What was it? What is it I need? Oh, this. this okay, that's what I was going to ask you guys. This crushy wheel. Um, big recipe. It's got a big recipe here. It's got a big recipe. Where do I? How do I do this? It's got this like. Cranker crank do over here. It's got this thing. Got some sandpaper. Oh, okay. Um, never anticipated seeing that Minecraft sandpaper. In Minecraft. You learn a new thing every day, don't you? Um, Tango has one of these. What do you think? Should we go over there? And, and Zed does too? So basically it's wood, stone, and andesite um, ore. Tango. If b has one I'm, uh, and I don't have one now, like everybody's got them. Everybody's got these fancy things. Okay, I do need crushing wheels. Not for actual crushing, but I have some fun design ideas for the wheels. <laughs> you didn't think I was actually going to do some kind of mechanical thing, did you? Crazies. Crazy, crazy thoughts you have over there. Um, so this is how you crush it. Man, this reminds me of Indiana Jones. You know the, the second one, Temple of Doom? You know when Indy's like... Um, okay. Why don't we just try? Why don't we just see what happens? That should be enough, right? 45? Oh, grab some inside. Just in case we need some extra. Um, and I think it needed some wood, if I'm not mistaken. Grab some of our other wood. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I don't want to mess anything up. Um, so you said the Tango has one. I think I saw Zed's before I crashed the server yesterday. No, 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 planks, logs, what? Huh? what? I got all the materials. I can use uh, andesite, and I have andesite, and I've got a wood, right? Yeah. Right. I think I do. Ah, uh, yes. Good memories. Destroying the server. Yes. Let's pop over to... Uh, I don't think there's any spoilers over here. There's spoilers behind me. 
But I'm gonna pop over here. <laughs> Come on, guys. This isn't Scar safe. I'm gonna sleep just in case over here. There we go. Not sure what's gonna be over here. I mean, it's got holes everywhere. Lightning Tech, thank you so much for the three month resubscription. Let's go. Thank you so much. Very, very, very much appreciated. Um, so let's take a little look around here and see if um, potentially there is. I'm seeing some mechanical whizzy, wizardry, wizard. I cannot say wizard. I'm going to do that again. I see some mechanical wizardry. There we go. Nailed it. We seem to fall into Tango's machines. <gasps> Every time. Decked out, create. I always fall into them. So amazing. Oh, here's this is this is nice. This is nice. Something like that would be good, but I still want the traditional, like instead of these being horizontal, I want them to be vertical. And you said I, I could potentially do that, so that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, oh man, is this is this spoilers? These are just like exclusive previews for you guys to get really excited about Tango's video. Like, what is that? Oh, dude, remember when I said that this was like Indiana Jones? You remember when I said this was like Indiana Jones? You guys remember when I said this was like Indiana Jones? <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Oh, wow. He must have some serious power around here. Man, he's not hand cranking it. But, you know, me, I mean, look at my muscles from, you know, having to hand crank all my machines. Is this the thing? This looks recognizable. Is this it? Is this what you guys have been talking about that Tango has this thing? I mean, it looks just like the recipe here, like this thing and then the shape. I mean, that shape is iconic, so it's very recognizable from this. It is? Okay. I don't want to break it. Like all this stuff over here is so fancy. All right. Okay, here we go. I don't know what I was expecting that to do. <laughs> I didn't know exactly what I was expecting that to do, but it, it seems to be working. Okay. All right. All right. Nothing's broken yet. Nothing. That was amazing. That was like a vault door opening in Gringotts. That was so cool. You know what that means? Do it again. <laughs> I got to do that again. I got to do that again. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these 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 Miller Miller crushing machines. That was so cool. <laughs> this is so worth coming over here. Do it again. <laughs> I gotta do this again. I don't know if I have enough. I might not have enough here. I might. Oh man, I might be just shy. I'm three shy. Tango, do you have some extras? Do you, have, do you just have maybe like just one extra of these, Tango? Just just for funsies. Just for funsies. There. Man, that was amazing, and we're doing it again. I 
I love that. That was so worth it. Oh my gosh. The whole time I feel like I was gonna break something, but we didn't break a single thing. And we got some amazing, um, hey Cal, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend getting close to that. that you, yeah, you're gonna get a terrible rash burn. It's not gonna be pretty. No, it's gonna hurt. You're gonna get your clothes, you're gonna rub up against it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really, really rough. Anyway, dude, that was amazing. Oh. Oh, I love that. That was so cool. What else can we make with those big crafty ma crafty machines? Because I'd like to do some more of that. <gasps> no! It's the second time today. I have a knack for finding holes, apparently, in the ground. I need an elytra! I need an elytra! Hey, leave me alone. I've already fallen in two holes today. It's been embarrassing. Potato cannon. I don't even know what that is. I assume it shoots potatoes. Mystic Manor looks cool. Dude, you looked it up? Oh, I'm so glad I got at least one person to look up Mystic Manor. Man, you know, I've always thought like taking Mystic, taking Mystic Manor and this is prior to the Pixar Pier overlay, which I despise, but making it so that there is, so the theme would be, right? I talked about this on my Disney podcast before, but I am talking about Disney stuff. Can you leave me alone? This is serious. This is serious life and death business. Thank you. Um, so I've talked about this on the Disney podcast before, but I've refined it recently. So you, you have like a, a, a pier side owner who owns the pier, right? In the, in the lore of the land, the owner of the pier licenses the Disney, um, the Disney, um, characters, right? This person also has a mansion. This person has a mansion, which then you can tie Mystic Manor to that as if like this owner of the pier from 1915 goes off, brings back fun things to put into the pier, right? Um, and then you could tie that whole thing together in like a beautiful package. That's like an easy way for Disney to import that over and then clone the attraction. I have a much more like, much more elaborate, like unique IP idea for it. But I was like, how can I like tie that into, um, how could I tie that into, um, just like cloning a ride and bringing over Mystic Manor? I want Mystic Manor in, uh, California Adventure because Mystic with, with, with the loss of with the loss of Tower of Terror, like I mentioned yesterday, there's there's no scary, there's nothing scary in the in there anymore. Uh, the podcast, yes, my brother and I did a podcast. Uh, we stopped in 2019. The main reason we stopped, or at least for, uh, it just felt like it was always bad news, like uh, in 2020 and 2021 and stuff. And maybe maybe now with some decent news now, maybe there'd be some good stuff to talk about, but. It was like, I don't want to get in the podcast and be and be just a, a downer and be like, they introduced paid fast pass. They got rid of Magical Express. They tore this down. They got rid of that. They made the cast members all unhappy. It's like, I just don't want to, I, I just, I don't want to have a podcast where it's all just, I, I guess with, with, the, with, 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 with my philosophy with anything, if I'm talking about Star Wars or whatever, if I like something, I'm going to say it. If I don't like something, I'm going to say it. And, you know, there's people who cater to, like, just being overly positive or overly negative, and their entire brand is being negative or being overly positive. And it's like, I just want to say what I, what, you know, if it's if it's good, it's great. If it's bad, it's bad. Um, that's how we always had the podcast, but it got to the point where it just felt like it was going to be all negative. And it's like, I just don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to go so far in the negativity category of being like, I don't like park reservations. I don't like Genie. I don't like this and this. And it's like, maybe if there's some good news, we can kind of mix it in and kind of balance it out. So it's kind of a, a you know, a little bit better. <laughs> so, so maybe, maybe now that, that, uh, you know, maybe there's some good news now that we can mix in because it would have been such a bummer just being like today's news. Remember that fast pass service you liked? It's now paid. People really like Magical Express. It's gone. This and this. You know, it just, it, I didn't want to just constantly be negative. I need some positivity. Uh, I need a nice balance. So maybe, maybe now it's time to bring the podcast back. Um, look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. These are super cool. So these are going to help us do um, some fun things with the wheels on the side of the house. 
Um, we're also going to need water wheels. We're also going to need some water wheels, which are far more simple. We just needed a cog and some house slabs. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. But yeah, my brother and I, we did some really fun podcasts. If you're interested in that, um, it's the Backlot Boys, Backlot Brothers, Backlot. Almost forgot the name of it. Um, but yeah, check it out. We, we we had a lot of fun. So yeah, maybe there'd be some more positive and more some more fun things to talk about that aren't so constantly negative. So that'd be good. But yeah, you missed a couple wheels. Oh, you're right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Whew, that that would that would have been bad. Um, but there we go, guys. That was super successful. I am very happy. I am very happy with that. We got a ton done. We got some wood. Um, I need a haircut. My gosh. Um, yeah, got a lot done. So I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys coming out. I hope you enjoyed. We cogged out. We did. We very much did. <laughs> we very much did. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming out and uh, for all the subscriptions, resubscriptions, all the bits um and all the all the merchandise messages popping up on the screen so i'm so glad um you guys are enjoying the merchandise it has been so so fun to see you guys and getting excited for your stuff so that makes me super super happy um and like i said the some people are starting to get their hats so in the next uh like two or three weeks we're going to start seeing these move out um remember order it before before the 30th of november to get shipping before christmas um Otherwise, it'd be pretty far out. So, um, yeah, make sure you get your orders in now. And, uh, yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for coming out. Mods couldn't do it without you. Um, so, yeah, really appreciate it. So, let's see who's out in the wonderful worlds of Twitch. To raid, to raid, who shall we raid today? Who we gonna raid? A wild impulse. Oh, hey, oh my gosh, I just completely forgot. Impulse is doing his uh, charity stream. So, yeah, we're going to uh, raid Impulse. He is uh, doing a wonderful, I think it's 24 hours. Uh, he's doing a wonderful charity stream uh, for uh, No Kid Hungry. Um, so, yeah, let's go raid um, Impulse. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. And definitely check out what Impulse is doing. Um, it's a very, very wonderful charity. Um, yeah, so hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. And we will see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.